you're actually out of the body when you're when you're dreaming at night. So when you sleep for seven or eight hours, you're going to spend three hours. This is medical studies now. This is hard no science now. Mm -hmm. We've known this since the 1950s when we discovered the four brain waves. Um, you spend three hours out of the body into the fifth dimension. The question is, where do you go? Most people, because they don't know what they're doing, or because they're arguing with their wife, or they're worrying about problems, or because they had too many drugs, they go to the lower astral plane. Mm. That's a very bad neighborhood. Like how? Well, except you can get out of it. Okay. Yeah. So it's like purgatory. Okay? Purgatory. Okay. Whereas, um, if you go, if you use the techniques I describe in psychic protection techniques and more positive things, you can leave through the crown chakra, not through the third chakra, which will take you to the lower astral. Mm. If you go to the crown chakra, which is where you want to go, now you go to the upper astral plane or the causal, mental, uh, etheric, or even soul plane. Those are all positive dimensions. Okay. The only two negative dimensions are the lower astral plane and this one. <laughs> we have a lot of problems here, but the other dimensions are all positive, and each dimension has a sound and certain characteristics that are relevant to it. For example, if you're out of the body and you hear the roar of the sea, you're on the astral plane. If you hear the tinkling of bells like in the New Age bookstore, now you're on the causal plane where the Akashic Records are stored. If you hear the sound of running water, you're on the mental plane. And if you hear the buzzing of bees, you're on the etheric plane. Mm -hmm. Or if you hear the sound of a flute, you're on the soul plane.